polymerase chain reaction. PCR is a rapid, inexpensive and simple way of amplifying specific DNA fragments from minute quantities of source material. This revolutionary method was developed by Kerry Mullis in 1980s. PCR methodology employs a temperature-resistant polymerase enzyme which works in the presence of a short stretch of single-stranded DNA called primer by consuming the substrate DNTPS and finally amplifying the template DNA specifically. As the name indicates, PCR is a chain reaction having repeated cycles, each of which consists of three steps denaturation, annealing and extension. Denaturation is achieved by increasing the temperature to 100 degrees centigrade, primer annealing at 54 degrees centigrade and extension is achieved by TAC polymerase at 72 degrees centigrade. Repeated heating and cooling cycles which is accomplished by the thermal cycler amplify the target DNA exponentially. 20 PCR cycles can amplify the target by million fold. Materials required Ice box RNAs, free DNAs, free distilled water 10x buffer Plasma template Forward primer Reverse primer DNTPS DAC polymerase PCR tube Micro pipettes Pipette tips Thermocycler Procedure Arrange all tubes in the icebox. Take a 10 to 100 microliter pipette and adjust the volume to 37.5 microliter. From the tube placed in the icebox, pipette out RNAs free, DNAs free distilled water. Add the solution into a 0.5 ml PCR tube taken from the icebox. Place this PCR tube back in the icebox. Discard the used tip. Now take 0.5 to 10 microliter pipette and adjust the volume to 5 microliter. From the tube placed in the icebox, pipette out 10x buffer. Add the solution into the same PCR tube. Place the PCR tube back in the icebox. Discard the used tip. Prepare the reaction mix by adding the following components in the respective volume. That is 1 microliter of plasma template. 2 microliter of DNTPS, 2 microliter of forward primer, 2 microliter of reverse primer, and 5 microliter of TAC polymerase using the same PCR tube. Mix the solution in the vial using the pipette. However, ensure you do not mix this vigorously, as this will inactivate the enzyme TAC polymerase. Turn on the thermocycler. Place the PCR tube containing the reaction mix in the PCR machine. Close the lid and set the specific PCR program. Then press the start button to run the PCR program. Result The amplicons which are formed after the specific amplification of the target sequence can be detected using the technique of gel electrophoresis.